been a while. I think the last video that was there when my dad passed and um, I think I just needed some time. I miss you, I'm talking to you baby. I miss you. <laughs> I have missed you guys, like for real. It feels like forever. It actually feels really strange, you know. I haven't seen or spoken to you guys in a while. And you have been dearly missed, okay? I want to apologize for my absence. And I want to thank everyone who's been leaving comments or sending me an email or uh, a DM on Instagram to just say how much I have also been missed. So it's mutual it's a mutual affection here um whew. i mean it has been a while i think the last video that was was that about i think yeah when my dad passed and um i think i just needed some time i needed some time to look at other avenues of income i've needed time to invest in other areas of my holistic life as to why I just haven't had the time to edit videos. It has been a journey and a half, obviously. It has been long. And you know, the reason why it has taken so long is because I am funding it myself and I can't be in two places at once and everything. So it's all of that amalgamated together to just to take it like I mean how I see it is I either leave it in the hands of someone because actually the last time a time last year I actually left it in the hands of somebody um when I got back you might as well say that I had to redo part of the work because you leave it in the hands of someone they get trigger happy with the money that's coming in don't necessarily put all of it into the project making certain things that are done not up to my standard y'all know that my standard is quite high so not up to my standard so i had to redo a lot of it when i when i got back but luckily it wasn't too far gone um so that's always the toss up for me to get someone to handle it when i'm not there or to stop work and when I get back use the money that I've reserved to do it then because sometimes you end up giving it to someone and you end up paying twice because you give the money to them to do it they don't do it properly then you have to do it again yourself and I ain't got money to waste so like I said what I'm probably going to do now is show you guys where we left off from the last video that I did um what else what else what else what's been happening with you guys you know let me know what's going on i have been on lockdown in the uk so i've been in london so that has been interesting because before i left ghana i actually wasn't taking the pandemic that seriously i was watching on the news about oh gosh what's going on you know in europe and the us i wasn't taking it that seriously um came to london before the lockdown and then they locked everything down and then the death toll started increasing and increasing and increasing and um i saw how serious it actually was but surprisingly enough at that time i thought well it looks like we'd be better off in ghana because at that time, that's where Nana Kofodo had obviously shut everything down. You know, people couldn't come in, people couldn't go out. They had taken serious measures to clamp down on, you know, the pandemic, you know, getting any bigger or anything in Ghana. So I thought, oh, okay, you know, I think I probably would have been better there because the UK was just out of control. So now when the UK is kind of sloping downwards it just seems like i'm hearing quite a lot of stories of people in ghana getting corona and dying of it but then again i honestly don't want to get too much into this because there are so many conspiracy theories that i kind of agree with some of them um so i don't want to consume um this chat with corona um but it is, it's sad, so many people have lost their lives. I, to be honest with you, okay, this year for me has been, I don't, I don't know what to say, to be honest. You know, the things that have been going on, 
with black people, death. I don't do very well with death, Eve. I know many people don't do well with death, but I really don't do well with death. I don't even need to know you for me to be triggered and impacted by it. So that it just hasn't been a good year for me emotionally, I think. But one good thing that I do think has come out of it is it has highlighted problems that black people are experiencing in society when it comes to black people being present at the workforce level you know the lower level but when it comes to the board and higher management they're not to be seen when it comes to black women being you know five times more likely to die during childbirth in the UK when it comes to where black people actually spend their pounds you know and their dollars so i think a lot of things have been highlighted throughout the year as well so that's the silver lining that i'm taking from it trying to be a bit more positive stay more positive and to do what i can to protect my mental health and you know just try and be happy really despite all the negative stuff that are going on in the world but one thing it has done for me it has made me so appreciative of the small things in life health family just being able to do the small thing like I love cleaning and um house decor and all those type of things so I'm, I'm like fascinated with cleaning new cleaning products and you know things like that so just those little things it's just made me so much more grateful for because tomorrow is just not promised so it you know I think it's if anything 2020 has also shown us that be grateful every single day you know that I have been able to do some things that I've always wanted to do so being grateful having gratitude and also writing down a list of things little could be anything that you are grateful for I'm grateful for waking up this morning I'm grateful for being able to to drink and eat when I feel like it just grateful for every small little thing because nothing is guaranteed anymore i think 2020 has shown us that if nothing else i will definitely try and be more consistent with the videos that i have already pre-recorded to just bang them out and get them um out as well um and i am looking to add some more elements to the channel because initially the only way is gone i didn't initially it wasn't initially to be focused on building the building element of Ghana, but at the time, I guess there just wasn't that much out there about building in Ghana. So people gravitated towards that. Um, there is quite a lot now. And I would like to add some different elements to the channel of things that you might want to know. So do let me know if there's anything that you want me to kind of discuss, any topics you want me to discuss, talk about or any type of videos that you would like me to do. You can just let me know in the comments or DM me, email me. I'm always looking forward to collaborations and partnerships with people as well. So also do let me know if you would like us to work together and you know get some stuff done but please do remember that i am currently in london but i honestly do want to thank you guys for obviously the constant support and i know that i have i've 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 dropped off a bit but honestly i feel like i needed that i needed to to, to step away from um youtube for a bit um, to also reconfigure and figure out next um, content steps as well. So like I said, do do comment if you have any ideas as well. So it's been lovely talking to you guys. I think what I will do is actually put the video after this. Stay safe. Stay safe. I hope your families are well and you're all staying safe. And let's just try and stay safe together. Bye guys. Take care.